Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. There is no wall that will not ultimately fall. Even though it may be imposing and long-standing, it will fall. Even though it may be as intimidating as an angry giant, or as silent as thin air and just as invisible, like the stubborn will of a person or the bitter spirit of an individual, it will fall. All walls finally fall. Anyone who knows a little bit of history knows how true that is. Everywhere you go, it seems, especially on the continent and into Europe, you find walls that once were so formidable and strong and intimidating and high. People in their day thought they would never fall. And yet to this day, right into the Middle East and into Egypt, this archaeologist spade continues to unearth walls that have fallen. Great empires that looked like they would go on forever have fallen. Egyptian walls, Grecian walls, Roman walls, French walls, German walls. Ah, speaking of German walls. The cry can be heard all through the streets of Berlin, Freiheit! Freiheit! At last! Freedom at last! Songs that are usually reserved for soccer matches and birthday parties are now being sung in the streets near the historic Brandenburg Gate and Checkpoint Charlie. In rough translation, such a beautiful day should last forever, they sing day and night. One man shouts, remember the 9th of November. It reminds me of when I was a little boy. Remember the Alamo. Not that I was living at the time, but I, <laughs> I was in Texas at the time. Remember the 9th of November. While another man is hammering away, beating on the wall, and handing out fragments of it to the crowd. And they are saying all over the city, the wall is gone, the wall is gone. One rather hardened retired Air Force colonel who flew bombing missions over Berlin in the mid-40s, watched it all and said, I'm a hard old retired colonel, but I had tears in my eyes to see people standing on a wall where once they would have shot, would have been shot. I could hardly take it all in. One radio station in West Germany, in West Berlin, said this is Christmas, New Year's, and Easter all rolled into one. The remarkable thing is that they, it, the, the wall fell without a shot. 28 Cold War years it has stood and been a bloodbath, not only dividing a city, dividing a country, but dividing a world. And the wall has come tumbling down. I know. I know. Some of you skeptics are saying, oh, another shoe will fall. You just wait. I know, but first a wall has fallen. It has fallen. I look into the scriptures and I see similar situations, and I, and I find myself asking, why did we even have a wall in the first place? Why are there walls? I love the moving words of the late Robert Frost, who writes in one of his pieces, before I built a wall, I'd ask to know what I was walling in or walling out. And so should we. Just as countries build walls for protection from their enemies, as individuals we build walls around ourselves. Freedom is living without walls letting go of the bitterness and anger that keeps us in bondage. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, and the walls came tumbling down, was copyrighted in 1989 
and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.